Hi, I'm Mike Benton for HTC, and in this video we're going over two powerful settings and power management applications for the G1. While each is just as good by itself, they both serve different audiences. Toggle settings is for those of us that like to adjust settings on our own but want to do so quickly. With Power Manager, you can use the pre-installed profiles or create your own so your G1 will automatically change settings based on different triggers. Let's take a look at toggle settings. By default, there are two pages with easy tap buttons for access from everything from screen brightness and screen timeout to turning your GPS and Wi-Fi on and off. Tapping at the top of the screen, we'll switch to page 2, which has more options. To customize the app, tap on the Tools button, where you can select the application settings, change the number of toggles on each screen, or even turn off page 2. Additionally, you can go to the page settings and change which apps show up on which page. Now let's look at Power Manager. While its interface isn't as slick as toggle settings, it is still just as useful if not more. From one screen, you have quick access to the main functions most users want control over. You can see the status of your battery, switch between 2G and 3G, turn on or off your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, or cell location. Additionally, you can also enable the monitor. When Monitor is enabled, Power Manager will automatically switch between the default profiles based on your power settings. The default profiles range from battery power to low battery to AC powered and USB powered. As expected, you can edit these profiles or create new ones. Power Manager also gives in-depth info about the battery and allows you to export statistics as well. There's also a few application specific changes that you can make. If you have a hectic schedule where you might forget to charge your phone, then go with Power Manager. If you want more manual control over your settings, then use Toggle Settings. Both applications are free and available from the Android market. That's all for now. Stay tuned to our channel for more valuable tips, tricks, and valuable insight into the world of the G1.